In this video, I'll be going over strategies that will help you deal with every automaton. This will include all the various weak points, the best weapons to use against them, and various tips and tricks that will help you deal with every type of automaton. We'll start out with the heavily armored Hulk. Hulks can have a flamethrower, rocket pods, or a rocket launcher as their primary, and a buzzsaw or a machine gun as their secondary weapon. Their arms can be shot off with a railgun, destroying the weapon in that arm and sometimes airstrikes will also destroy these weapons. Shooting the weapon can be an easy way to disable a hulk if you are having trouble hitting the head, and destroying their primary weapon can make them a lot less threatening. Hulks are basically immune to small arms fire or light armor penetrating weapons everywhere except for the backpack on their back, and even their face has protection from small arms fire, meaning that you'll have to have something with at least medium armor penetration if you're going to hit them in the head. A railgun shot to the head will one tap them, but be aware that they explode after they're destroyed. The anti-material rifle can kill the hulks in two shots to the head, making it another great option for dealing with hulks. Hulks always shoot one arm after the other. If you have to kill them with a small arms weapon, you can sprint strafe to the opposite side of whatever arm's shooting, and then sprint strafe the opposite side of the next arm. Use this to close the distance and get in close, and once you're close, stay just out of melee range, and keep circling around the back while shooting the energy cells on the back. After enough fire, the energy backpack explodes, at which point the Hulk will just shoot to the ground. In this stage, they're essentially bleeding out, and eventually will just explode on their own. In general, hulks will be one-shotted by 500 kg bombs that land pretty close to them. If they don't get one-shotted, they usually have very little health left over. Orbital precision strike, rail cannon, and rocket pods can also one-shot a hulk with good placement, but I would say in general, unless you're extremely overwhelmed, the anti-material rifle or railgun are plenty to deal with hulks. Moving on to the normal tank, the tank has a lot of HP and very heavy armor, but it has very low mobility and is also very slow to turn, so I'd recommend using this to your advantage. If you sprint around a tank in a circle, then it will be very difficult for the tank to hit you. In general, only the smaller secondary machine gun turrets will be able to catch you in this method. You can also climb on top of the tank, and this renders it basically useless. Circling around the tank and using it as cover from enemy fire can be useful, or climbing on top of the tank if you don't have too many enemies attacking you, and taking out any stragglers so that you can focus on the tank. For the tank's weak points, every part of the tank seems to have pretty heavy armor. I've read that the top of the turret and the top part of the front of the tank are both able to be damaged more than some parts of the tank, but after testing this out, I didn't find either of these spots to be nearly as weak as the true weak point, which is the glowing vent on the back of the top rotating turret. Hitting the tank with a few overcharged unsafe railgun shots in this spot tends to kill it pretty quickly. This glowing vent weak point is also extra weak to explosives, meaning you can throw cook grenades or impact grenades at it to explode the tank very quickly. Using this method, the tanks die from two G16 impacts. The explosives multiplier on this weak point means that the auto cannon and the grenade launcher can both easily take out a tank if you hit it in this spot as well. It takes three auto cannon shots or four grenade launcher shots to this weak point to kill it. The anti-material rifle is also able to do pretty good damage to this weak point. The spear is another decent option for taking out a tank, but in most cases it won't one shot, and from my experience it has trouble locking onto the tanks a lot of the times, so it's not really that great for tanks. Orbital rail cannon and rocket pods also do pretty good damage to the tank, and 500 kg bomb can one shot it if you land it directly on the tank. Without getting a direct hit with the 500 kg though, it will generally just leave the tank with really low health. The HMG tank is a rare and much more threatening version of the normal tank. The HMG tank has two glowing vents on the back of the top turret instead of one, and it also has a much higher rotation speed than the normal tank, making it very difficult to hit this weak point, and also making it very difficult to approach since the top turret rotates so quickly and is able to keep you in line of sight very very easily. Just like with the normal tank, you are able to climb on top of the HMG tank, which will make it unable to hit you, but the turret rotates so fast you basically can't access the weak point still. I would recommend just using explosives on the top turret. 2-3 to three G16 impact grenades when the turret's facing you is enough to blow it up. Drop ships are really heavily armored ships that drop off automaton reinforcements. If there's a commissar in the group, which is the automaton that has one arm as a blade, this generally is the first one to try to fire up a flare. Targeting the commissars first can prevent them from summoning a dropship to drop off reinforcements. 
The only real weak point of a dropship is the thrusters. You can take out the dropship's thrusters with the recoilless rifle, which will make it fall down and explode, killing any troops trapped underneath it. The expendable anti-tank is also capable of taking out one of the dropship's thrusters. I tried the autocannon and the grenade launcher, but I couldn't get either of these to work. There is another way to take out dropships. If you do the SAM site optional objective, which kind of looks like a microwave symbol on the map, then the SAM site will automatically take out dropships. Doing this optional mission can be a great way to take out enemy reinforcements, which will relieve pressure on missions where you're feeling particularly overwhelmed. Alternatively, you can spam fire a grenade launcher or autocannon onto the inside of the dropship, which can potentially kill all the enemies before they're even dropped out. Devastators are a variant of automatons that have medium armor over most of their body. Their arms and their waist area both have lighter armor, leaving them susceptible to small arms fire. And similarly to hulks, you can take off their arms to reduce their offensive capabilities. Their head is also extremely vulnerable, and taking out their head will instantly kill them. Any weapon is capable of this on devastators. There are three variants of devastators. The rocket devastator has rocket pods on its shoulders. These rocket pods will basically instantly kill you, but are easy to block with cover. If you take out the rocket pods on the rocket devastator's back, then it can no longer shoot the rockets, leaving it to only be able to use its much weaker secondary guns. I would recommend on all devastators to just go for the head if it's possible, but there are some scenarios where hitting the head can be very difficult, and you can use the other weak points as backup options. Another type of devastator is the heavy devastator. These hold a shield in their left arm, and the shield counts as heavy armor, meaning that most weapons won't be able to penetrate it. Their right arm has a machine gun. If you take off this right arm, then they aren't able to do anything other than melee attack. And they also have a lightly armored backpack on their back that takes full damage from light arms fire. You can also shoot at this backpack from the front by shooting right over the shoulders if you don't have a good angle on their head. Finally, there's the standard devastator. These have a cannon in their right arm that has a really hard time tracking if you strafe left and right. These appear a lot more on lower difficulties, and their lack of firepower makes them a lot less dangerous than the other devastators, so save shooting these for last if you're trying to survive a horde of enemies. I would say railgun's the easiest to kill devastators with, killing them in one shot to the waist, one shot to the leg, and one shot to the backpack or head. They can also be one-shotted anywhere by a railgun in unsafe mode, including through a heavy devastator shield. But if you're really skilled, the anti-material rifle actually has more potential, killing devastators in 3-4 to four body shots or one shot to the head. The arc thrower, grenade launcher, and autocannon all do a decent job of taking these out as well, but they're just not quite as good on devastators. Also, pretty much any explosive strike stratagem is pretty effective against devastators. I like cluster bomb because of its wide area and how many uses you get. Striders are mechs that are piloted by smaller automatons. The mech itself has powerful armor all over, and has a powerful slow firing autocannon. These mechs have a really slow rotation speed, so if you're close to them you can just circle around and they won't be able to shoot you. They will try to stomp you though if you get too close. The real vulnerability of these mechs is the pilot on the back. These have very low health and will die almost instantly to any type of damage. A shot to the legs with armor penetration will also insta-kill them. Anything that can penetrate the front armor of the mech is also capable of hitting the pilot, which will insta-kill it. If you have high ground, you can also get a shot on the pilot and insta-kill the mech. What I believe to be the best method to kill these though is with explosives. If any splash damage hits the mech pilot, that's basically an insta-kill, so explosive support weapons or grenades will kill these extremely fast. This makes the grenade launcher and autocannon extremely good for killing striders, especially the grenade launcher since it has so much splash area. Berserkers are essentially devastators that have less armor. Berserkers have two chainsaws for arms, and their only attacks are melee attacks. One of their weak points is at their waist. Targeting the waist with small arms fire will chop them in half. This can be done easily with the anti-material rifle or the railgun as well. Their head's their other weak point, and destroying the head will instantly kill them. And finally, we have all the automatons that don't use power armor or mechs. All of the automatons in this class have very low health and are susceptible to small arms fire, explosions, and headshots. There are commissars, which are high ranking automatons. One of the things these do is lead patrols and also lead the chant that automatons do. They'll be the first one to attempt to fire off a flare. Sometimes if they're interrupted when firing a flare, another automaton will decide to fire a flare instead. You can identify a commissar by looking for an automaton that has an energy blade in one hand and a pistol in the other. The Brawler is an automaton that has two energy blades for arms. They can only use melee attacks and they're pretty fast. 
Troopers are the most common of these small automatons. They come with a machine gun that they usually shoot in burst fires. They don't do much damage, but a huge horde of them can still be dangerous. Fabricators will spawn these troopers. Fabricators have two vents above the door troopers come out of. A grenade can be thrown at these vents to instantly destroy the fabricator, but if you have something like an impact grenade, then you'll need a really specific angle to destroy the fabricator with the impact grenade, because the grenade will explode before it actually goes inside the fabricator, but even normal grenades or grenade launcher shots can be hard to land in these vents. You can instead wait for the door to open on the fabricator and throw a grenade in this way. This is much easier to land than getting a grenade through the vents. It's also possible to destroy the fabricators by landing a resupply or a weapon call in on top of them, and most airstrikes that use explosives will kill them. Make sure to stand back when they explode though because it can kill you. Raiders come equipped with a rocket launcher that can one-shot you. Their accuracy seems very inconsistent. Sometimes they shoot directly at you, and sometimes they shoot in a totally random area. This randomness alone, though, can make them unpredictable and dangerous. Marauders have a rapid-fire cannon that does more DPS than most of the other small automatons. They also have red heat sinks that come out of their shoulders. These will explode when shot, but as with most of the small automatons, they have such low health that shooting them basically anywhere will rapidly kill them, and they still have the head weak point. And lastly, there's the Assault Trooper. These troopers are equipped with jetpacks and will jump at you to quickly break distance. They have a blade and a pistol similar to a Commissar, and you can shoot the jetpack to blow it up. This jetpack explosion can hurt you, and usually doesn't even kill the Assault Trooper in one shot, so I wouldn't recommend that. The best weapon for killing any of these small automatons is the grenade launcher, which can instantly dispatch them with its high splash radius and really high fire rate. The arc thrower and auto cannon both do a pretty decent job as well, especially if you do 75% charges on the arc thrower and if the enemies are lined up properly for the arc thrower to chain. And the anti-material rifle isn't a bad option either since it will one-shot them anywhere, which makes it a good choice if there's a mix of heavy and small enemies. And that covers all of the automatons. I hope this video helps you easily handle all the automaton missions, and make sure to subscribe if you want more Helldivers content like this.